I think we're going to see a lot of sunburns. Yes, emergency medicine physician Dr. Glenn Hardesty has seen our forecast. We may not be as tolerant to heat as we have been just because we've been indoor cats for a little while. He's not the only one who's noticed these hot temps. ERCOT officials have two. They've already asked power plant owners and generators to postpone plan maintenance on Friday, Saturday, Tuesday and Wednesday just to make sure there's enough power. This is a time when you would normally do maintenance on power plants and uh, transmission lines and so forth because it's usually not that hot. That's Bruce Bullock, director of um, so SMU's McGuire Energy Institute. The... He says the grid should be able to handle the hot temps that are headed our way. Unfortunately, we found out the hard way that it was not uh, necessarily designed for uh, uh, very cold weather over a very long period of time. But the kind of heat that's coming is, is certainly what they're used to. As for the Texas Health Plano doc, he's used to all kinds of injuries showing up in the emergency room when the weather gets hot, like dehydrated patients. You need to be drinking probably one and a half times the amount of water that you think you need to. Also, when we have heat, we start to see more, uh, more wildlife activity. I mean, when we go from April to May, we get that bump in, in, uh, in snake bites. And when you're considering trying that new sports activity for the first time, keep in mind to stay within your athletic limits. It's not always the warm weather itself to blame for the injuries, but the activities it inspires. I think we're going to see a lot of injury with people getting outside and doing things that they haven't been doing for a while. So stay safe, stay cool, and enjoy your weekend. In Fort Worth, I'm Ariel Placencia.